Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can monitor your Mac status right from your dock. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about the items that are running in my menu bar. And this application up here is iStat Menu. And it gives me some quick information about status of different things on my Mac. And in this case I have my network bandwidth as well as my memory. Now this is nice and all and I use it all the time. But the fact is that it costs $16 for this application which may be out of some people's price range for something that they're only going to use once in a while or that it's not really a critical thing. But with Activity Monitor, which is an application that's built right into Mac OS X, every Mac has it, you can achieve a similar effect and monitor your Mac status right from your dock. So to open up Activity Monitor, you're going to open a new Finder window. You're going to go into your Applications folder and from there you're going to scroll down until you find utilities folder and in there you'll see activity monitor uh, most likely it'll be the first application and you can open that up now from here you have a lot of different things you can see uh, here's all my processors running CPU, system memory, disk activity, disk usage network, all kinds of things uh, but the fact is that this is kinda clunky and to look at this all the time it's not quick and it's not easily accessible or handy at all. But you can view these things right from the activity monitor icon. Instead of being this boring little uh, icon down here that really provides no useful information, you can turn this into a live updating icon uh, by right clicking or control clicking on it. You're going to pop up this little menu. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go under the options menu and click keep in dock so that this application will stay here at all times. The next thing you're going to want to do is go under Dock Icon. And from here you have a lot of different options of what you can transform the Dock Icon into. By default, it's set as Show Application Icon. Uh, but let's say we want to show the CPU usage. Now it turns into a CPU meter. And now you can see the usage of my CPU. Uh, so that's kind of neat. And it looks pretty nice too. And now you have a simple a CPU usage meter right in your Dock. Uh, you can also change this to something like CPU history, and now you'll see the history of the uh, activity of it, if you prefer that. Uh, you can also do show network usage, and from here you can see what the usage of the network is. You can't see how many kilobytes or megabytes you're going through, but it gives you a rough estimate of what you're doing. Uh, but you also have a disk activity. This one's probably a little more accurate. And I also have memory usage, so here I can see that I'm using quite a bit of memory. And this one's exactly like the graph that you see in Activity Monitor here. You don't get the breakdown of everything, uh, but if you know these colors here, and you know that free is blue, and you can set the colors uh, to whatever you want. You can customize this, and you can realize, oh, this uh, orange chunk here is what I'm using at the current time, and the blue chunk is what's free, and that's kind of the most important parts, right? So then I can show this back to application icon. Keep it like that if I want, but you're going to get a lot more usage out of having the dock icon. So I'm going to leave it as memory. And now you're going to start to replicate that function of iStat menus, or there's other applications just like that out there. And you can also go up to the monitors tab, and from here you can show CPU usage. And what it'll do is it'll bring down this little uh, box here that shows pretty much the exact same thing you saw in the dock but as a little floating window. So now, if you want to keep this, you know, maybe up in the corner, uh, for just quick reference, you can do that. Or, what you can do, is you can go floating CPU window, and let's say I want it horizontal. Now, it'll show up right here, and it's this little floating, there's no bar, yeah, it's very unintrusive, and it just shows you the CPU usage. And let's say I want to shrink the dock back down, and just stick it in the corner, or I can kind of monitor it at all times. It works very well, and now you can see I have my memory usage showing in the Docs application icon, as well as the CPU usage. And I can change this as well. I can show the CPU history, and this brings up another window. Not the most elegant uh, solution, but it still works. And I can also clear the CPU history. Oops. Just like that. So there you go. So this is a very low resource consuming way to monitor your Mac status. It's not like it's going to be taking up hundreds of megabytes of RAM or anything to just monitor what you're doing. 
and it's very simple and handy. And you can see right here I have memory usage as well as CPU usage, all for free right in the application. Now, the downfall is when you quit Activity Monitor, you're not going to see that anymore. And uh, that's kind of a bummer. It'd be nice if the application icon was able to still update even when the application was closed. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not there. But what you can do is you can close the window. It'll still remain open, and you can still see the status of both of those things. So it's pretty neat, and especially the dock icon, it really integrates into the system very well. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. So that's about all. That's the easy way to monitor your Mac status right from your dock. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.